the Fox 6 weather forecast. Now to this Fox 6 exclusive Republican U.S. Senate hopeful Kevin Nicholson facing questions about his past as a Democrat. Records show one thing. Nicholson says they're wrong. Political reporter Theo Keith has been investigating and joins us in the studio with the exclusive Theo. Mary Ted, incumbent politicians often have to defend their voting records. It's unusual that a political newcomer would have to do so. Yet before he formally enters the race, Kevin Nicholson of Delafield is fighting to maintain his conservative credentials. I didn't vote for any Democrat candidate. Republican Kevin Nicholson may run for U.S. Senate, but he hasn't always been with the GOP. We care about a woman's right to choose. That's him in 2000. As head of the College Democrats of America, he spoke at the Democratic Convention. Nicholson says he gradually moved away from the party, though five years later, he registered to vote as a Democrat in North Carolina, and he voted in that state's 2008 Democratic presidential primary. I voted no preference. North Carolina records show otherwise. The records show there was a no preference vote in Nicholson's precinct, but it came during North Carolina's version of early voting. State records show Nicholson voted in person. A Pender County, North Carolina elections official tells Fox 6 that a person couldn't vote early and be counted in person person. So at Wisconsin's GOP convention this weekend, I asked Nicholson to explain. Is the record wrong or did you not vote no preference? So <laughs> you're asking about the counting of paper ballots from 10 years ago, is that correct? So we're talking about the, the counting of paper ballots from 10 years ago, something that governments have a hard time doing on the day of elections. Am I correct? Yes. Nicholson says he supported Republican John McCain in 2008. Records show his wife gave two separate donations to McCain that year. And Nicholson's spokesman says the donations came from the couple's joint checking account. The spokesman also gave us this photo of Nicholson on the left at a McCain rally. The issue is key, says UWM professor Mordecai Lee, because in a potentially crowded Senate primary, everyone will have to prove their conservative credentials. Any little thing can be a disqualifier, and I suspect that this is going to be one of them. Nicholson says he doesn't think Republican voters will question him. We have hundreds of thousands of people in our state who voted for both Democrats and Republicans over the last 10 years. All those people are going to understand why I did what I did, the conversion that I've made, and why I'm a conservative today. Another issue for Nicholson, he finished last among six potential candidates in a Wispolitics.com straw poll of party activists at this weekend's state GOP convention. He does, though, have the support of a major Republican donor group, and he says he's just not sure when he'll decide whether to join this race. Mary, Ted, back to you. Interesting. All right, Theo, thank you.